I got six o'clock. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll call the meeting to order and uh, do the roll call. Fish? Here. Johnson? Here. Jorgensen, Here. Cole, Here. Lawrence, Here. Steen, Here. Mayor Buck. Here. Okay, we've got uh, approval of the agenda. We'll look for any additions or corrections or a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second to approve. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion carries. We've got the uh, approval of the minutes. From August 31 and September 5. Can we make a motion? There's going to be a correction on page 7. It says resolution 1623, but it should have been 1823. So we've made that correction. If you can just make that motion with that correction. Motion and second to approve the agenda with those corrections. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, the claims on pages 12 through 14. Motion and second to approve the claims. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion carries. We have the uh, consent calendar. We have uh, one wage adjustment for Melissa Levon. Motion approved. Second. Motion and second to approve the consent calendar. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion carries. Visitors and timed items. This is an opportunity for anyone that would like to visit with the council. On any particular subject, doesn't have to be on the agenda. Um, give us your name and address, and of course, we limit it to five minutes. You got it. Thank huh? you, Mayor. Yeah. Good evening, City Council. Jay Buckles, uh, 3916 West 88th Street. I'm actually representing Sioux Metro Growth Alliance as uh, chairman of the board this year. And I just want to say thank you for holding Sioux Metro Growth Alliance accountable for next budget year. And uh, we've got uh, hopefully be making some uh, announcements here for our new president CEO, maybe within the next week or, or two, uh, but we'll be uh, happy to uh, introduce you to that person once uh, he or she has been established. And then also looking forward to having uh, Brandon host us for our growth summit that is coming up Wednesday night and all day on Thursday. I know, I think we have some familiar voices, uh, faces from the council that are gonna be joining us for that growth summit, filling the housing gap that we're experiencing in all, in all of the state. So I uh, just wanted to say thank you for uh, holding us accountable and looking to work with you in 2024. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else have something to uh, discuss with the council? Seeing none, we'll move on. We have a public hearing on resolution 19-23. Uh, approving the special assessment roll for uh, unpaid fees. We'll need a motion on that. I will move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve resolutions 1923. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carries. We also have a public hearing uh, to vacate. Uh, 612 feet. This is the area down by the, uh, the, old, uh, lift the old lift station. Yeah, the old French Creek lift station. It's a 612 foot access easement as well as track one of the lift station no, addition. No, not no? track one. What do we need a motion on? Uh, 
Resolution 2123 amended to vacate a petition of 612 foot access easement strike track one of this state's position throughout the resolution. Okay. Motion and a second to approve. Um, any further discussion? The resolution is right, and you don't, I don't want you to strike track okay. one. Brian was describing it that we were going to vacate the easement and track one. We're just vacating the easement in track one. So the resolution is written correctly. I don't mean an amendment. I mean, yeah, the easement to track one. So the, the resolution is correct. So I don't need anything stricken from the resolution. And who has a second? Second. Second? Okay, motion and a second then. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. same sign. Motion carries. Old business. We've got the second reading of Ordinance 691, adopting the 2024 budget. Any uh, discussion or motion? Second. Motion and a second to approve the budget for 24. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We have the second reading of Ordinance 692, the rezone of Track 2 of Ashland Park from NRC to uh, institutional. Motion and a second to approve. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. And we have the ISG City Hall design proposal. Pages 36 to 41. Council took a look at this earlier this year. It's been table pending, uh, uh, working with Journey. We need, just need a resolution, so it's a, or not a resolution, formal resolution, but we need a resolution for the request because it's not included in the 2024 budget. So I, I would make a motion that we not contract with Journey. I, I don't know yeah, exactly well, what the wording was. The proposal is to contract with ISG to perform a schematic design, design development, and then eventually uh, construction documents for a total fee of 545-100. So I would make a motion that we do not plan to do that for 2024 since we took it out of the budget, notwithstanding it could come back down the road. I would prefer one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can't. I don't want to have a proposal hanging out there. Reject the proposal, then. I mean, I think the proposal. Yeah. The reject proposal. Yeah. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? <coughs> I want to talk about this just a little bit. Um, we have before us the structural assessment particular buildings that we're in right now that came out in April of uh, 22 and in that there were a number of things uh, talked about and uh, just breaking it down getting a thumbnail on it the immediate concerns or things that were uh, slated for immediate attention in one to two years, and this was a year and a half, about a year and a half ago that we got this. Um, and then there's a short term and a long term, three to five years, six to 10 years. On the one to two years, uh, there were uh, the roofs, the walls, um, leakage into the basements, and that price tag comes up to $680,000, $681,000 approximately of the 
total of somewhere around 800 and what is that 860 880 somewhere in there um, by kicking this down the road uh, I think puts us in, in a in a position where we've got a building that is in dire need of replacement or repair and I don't think anybody is interested in spending six hundred and eighty thousand dollars on that I'm gonna I'm gonna argue that we should move ahead at least with the building design uh, so that uh, do we have ISG here can I ask a few questions on timelines sure If we have, uh, if, if, if we go ahead with this contract, how long does it take to do this design? Just the design portion of Just it? The, yeah, the design to put so everything, get, get everything ready for a building to be built. Yes, yeah, so and to get the documents done, I'd say it's probably, knowing we're gonna have some demolition that we're gonna have to coordinate, and it's probably a six month design time, you know, from start to finish, and that's just the, d the design timeline. Not not including any, any, you know, figuring out the, you know, if there's a swing space need or any of those pieces, but just strictly the design documents. Okay. And once that design is done, if the building is, doesn't set a timeline for the building to be ground broken or anything along those lines. Correct. Yep. So it's just the design. Yep. And six months. Yep. Roughly. It, and that would be something if you got the contract, you could start that like next week. Yes. Okay. So that's uh, that's moving the ball down the field, at least getting getting things moved. I think everybody is in agreement that these buildings have have reached the end of their lifespan. Unless, of course, we're willing to spend close to a million dollars to fix them up. It doesn't give us any more space or anything like that. We can get the design, cuts down six months once we make the decision to pull the trigger on the building, cuts down six months of, uh, of delay that we would then have to come back and we have to go through all this again. And that just doesn't make any sense to me. We're talking about 300 and additional 350,000 roughly, 345,000 on top of what we already have budgeted for 23. Anytime a golf course comes up and, and we have to make that hole, we don't even blink at $350,000. And I think it's prudent for us to keep this going. I have talked to staff. Staff is very, very comfortable with this. I think staff is very, very comfortable with uh, moving ahead with the whole project. That we can bond this and, uh, and that we can pay for it. So to not do this and push that back down the road again, I think is irresponsible on the part of this council. So I'm going to I'm, I'm going to urge a no vote on uh, on this particular motion. Okay, right now the motion that we have is to cancel the ISG contract. Is that? It would be to reject because we've never entered into it, so you wouldn't cancel it. It would okay. just be to reject. Um, I mean, that's the motion. Is that your motion, Barb? Okay. Well, I guess let me ask this. So, we're, are we talking? I know we, we, the six hundred eighty thousand dollars that was brought out, uh, brought up. Is that 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 would get us? plans, designs, everything, or is that kind of like the high end? Um, and again, I know this was back in 2022, so it's, you know, prices have oh. been gone up, gone up since I, then. Can I clarify? No, the $680,000 just to do the repairs, that, that's uh, um, in that one to two year frame. Uh, what we're talking about here is we've got $200,000 in the 23 budget already set aside for uh, this design. Correct? Correct. So it would be, uh, according to this, $545,000 to 
subtract uh, the 200,000 would be roughly 345,000. Yeah, if you look on page 40, it, it outlines the tasks, topographic boundary survey, schematic design, design development, construction documents. And, and there's a little line there, construction documents, because that would need further authorization from the council to proceed with, with that. I guess, Dave, you weren't here the other night when we were discussing it. My concept on, on this is, is that we can muddy through here for, be out of here by five years. And my concern about doing the documents early and then maybe holding off because we can't cash flow it is then things change. And so I would prefer to wait with the documents until we are actually convinced that we have the cash flow. And I'm not convinced of that at this point. And that's why my recommendation was to take it out of the budget for 2024. So I'm not sure if we do these design documents where we're getting that money. We don't have it in the 2024 budget. So where's it coming from? Uh, budgets can be amended. Well, I don't agree with that. That's why I took it out. And that was the vote of the council, but it, it certainly can come back. Yeah, I, I guess I would uh, concur with Barb on that. We took it out of this year's budget, the 2024 budget, for that reason, because we're not ready to go ahead with the building at this point in time. And I know, Brian, you've talked about um, potentially changing it from a lease to own type of a situation to bonding the entire thing. Um, but that's still adding a pretty heavy lift, pretty heavy burden to an already t overtaxed budget right now. Um, and, you know, to the argument that we create the design now and possibly hang on to it for one, two, three years until the budget allows for us to um, better plan for doing the building, um, in that three year period, in that two to three year period, do we also have to go back and do the $600,000 worth of repairs to get us to that three year time? Um, so at, at this point in time, I don't think I can support the, the contract request. I have no interest in putting $600,000 into these buildings, but I don't think that they're falling down on our head quite yet. Now, we have to be careful and protect our people, but I think we can manage two, three, four years. I really do, Dave. And I know you and I are just going to disagree on it, and that's fine. Well, um, I worked in these buildings for 11 years. I put up with uh, water in the basements. Um, we've had leaky ceilings before because the roof is bad, and you're asking our staff to continue to put up with inadequate facilities. Uh, this is part of the infrastructure. We're always going to have things that we can do. Um, this is an important part of our infrastructure, and we just keep on pushing it down, pushing it down. And that's, that's one of the problems that we've had in the past. Uh, that's why we're dealing with streets, is because people didn't address issues when they needed to. And, uh, and I think that we're at that point when we need to. I have talked with staff, and staff is comfortable with us moving forward with this. Uh, the finance director is comfortable with where we're at with our finances in moving forward with this. And just because you aren't, uh, I have to listen to them, and uh, uh, I, I think that they have the expertise on, on where we're at with finances and our bonding capability and things of that nature. So I'm, I'm still going to urge a a no vote on the motion. Thank you. I guess what would be st staff's opinion on this? I'd love to hear from you guys where where you guys would love to see this this council go. You know, we all ultimately we all know that something needs to be done, but we also need somebody to carry the football down the road for us and, and help lead lead this. Um, so I'd love to hear where the city's at from a financial standpoint. Wh what we think can can be done sh in short term. You know, what, what I mentioned at the, the briefing meeting the other night, um, you know, even, even if this proposal is rejected, we still need to get working on something fairly soon, I think. You know, just adding up some quick stuff, the priority ones in that report, it's about $100,000, uh, it's $500,000 as soon as we building, this building being the worst of the two. I, I think it would uh, be a waste of money to sink that amount of money into these buildings. 
we don't, I don't have a magic ball to take a look and see, well, I, I think the buildings are going to last for three, five, ten, I don't know. Um, thank God I'm not a structural guy. Um, you know, I, and like I said the other night, we're going to continue to bring this back because um, we do need to, we do need to do something with these buildings sooner rather than later. You know, if, if you don't want to move forward with the ISG proposal tonight, um, we'll probably solicit it again from them at some point in, in probably 2024 at the latest. Uh, you know, if it's six months plus to to design, that would that would put us, you know, design 25, construction probably starting 26, probably 12, 18 months roughly, depending on, on how we phase it since not sure where we'd move we'd have to move and then anyway so we'd be looking at you know 26 27 um, before we'd have a new structure at, at probably the earliest so yeah we need to continue working at it um, you know right now the the big thing and, and I think I showed you that in one of the budget meetings with my broad-ranging sales tax projections. You know, I, I, I can't nail it down any closer than one to three million um, over the next five years, just because it's been fairly volatile. I've tried to be fairly conservative, maybe a little too conservative, but, you know, we've been averaging five, six, seven percent growth if I take out the, the last couple years, which are 15s, which we aren't going to maintain, I don't think. We'd love to, but I don't think we're going to. Um, yeah, so the, you know, the sooner we get moving on on buildings, the better, as far as what we're concerned. We certainly understand the, the council's viewpoint about concerns and wanting to see the money coming in before we commit to it. We get that, um, but we, we're going to have to do something, and, and it's not just this building that we have to deal with. You know, it's a public workshop as well. So between the two of them, we've got two buildings that that. Well past their useful life. You know, I, you know, I don't want to equate it to the the ponds that we had uh, issues with a few years ago. But yeah, they're they're at the useful life, and it's it's time to replace both. How we go about doing that's going to be fairly tough. Um, you know, we got to make sure that we've got the cash flow to do it. I, I think we do. Um, you know, our, our concerns. When this originally started, we had two concerns with staff. We had one <coughs> was the the debt capacity, which you know we we continue to grow each year, so our debt capacity is increasing. The way we financed the water treatment plant took a lot of that burden off the debt capacity issue. So at that point in time, we were looking at adding 25 million to our debt, and our debt capacity at the time was about 40. Our debt capacity was about 40 million. So. Without that in there, we're, we're, we've got plenty of capacity. <clears throat> the next thing that we have to had concerns about, obviously, was was revenue to debt sales tax, since that's the you know, that's what finances these projects. With the steady increase that we've had in sales tax over the last two years, we're fairly comfortable with where we're at, where we're going. You know, this year, <clears throat> last year we were at 4.7 million. In sales tax revenue. <coughs> Sorry, um, you know this year we should be over five. You know somewhere between five one and five two. Um, I'd be surprised if we weren't. Let's put it that way. I wish we could project sales tax a little. Industries are generating that sales tax. One of my concerns is that, you know, we went through the whole CIP list. <coughs> I'm not sure that the that City Hall came to the top of the list. And when we were discussing all of the needed water and sewer projects that are coming up, I, I guess I, we haven't seen how we're going to fund those sewer projects. So until we have a handle on that, I, I, I'm not comfortable putting City Hall over the sewer project. Now, once we get a handle on them, I'd be happy to revisit it. But I'm not at this point willing to. We got to figure that out first. Is is my concern. 
and again, we're always going to have these issues. We can always make an excuse for not moving ahead. And all I'm trying to do is, is keep us moving in that direction. We know that these buildings are at the end of their life. And we've got staff, we've, we've put so many band-aids on this over the years. Uh, building office spaces where there was no office spaces before. And uh, uh, we're out of the band-aid box is empty. And, and, it's, and it's time to start making these decisions and moving, moving this ahead. Because what we have right now, unless you want to start Unless you want to start putting double wides over here in the lot to, to create more room. I mean, that's what we're left with, and then I wouldn't be in favor of that either. So. It, it just so everybody understands, I don't think that, and, and yes, we've got a, a ton of infrastructure work that we need to do. And we've got streets that need rebuilding. We've got sewer and water projects that need to be done. I don't think that we can wait on these buildings until after the core is done, for example. And we're talking probably 10 or more years to get the core projects done. We're not gonna be able to wait that long and stay in these facilities. Now, you know, we may, we may find rentable space and spread out, I don't know, but, uh, you know, I don't think that we can wait that long until all those projects are done. I've made it pretty clear that I said three to five years. Yep. Five years yep. puts us at 20, 28. You're talking about if we push it out for six months, we're 2026. 20, so I, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be here either for 10 years. <laughs> so it's a, so a three-year project from the day you start the design. I think so. You know, to me, every year you push it out, we're going two more years out. And the building here won't last for eight years not without not without significant investment in 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 the infrastructure you know it starts with the roofs the the biggest thing is this building the tuck pointing um the walls uh, i can't remember which wall it is i think it's the south one is the worst um, and then we've got the west wall in the old bank building that you know we did some stuff mm, two years ago year ago we had them come in and, and do some work there so yeah we're you know Barb's timeline of three to five is probably the max that that we should stretch this out to projects don't get cheaper I mean <laughs> sooner you start I mean it's gonna be frugal that way too I, you know what we'll probably do it, it um, just in the top of my head you know, at the end of the year, we'll know exactly where we're at with sales tax revenue for 24. You know, we may come back in 23. Excuse me. Thank you. See, we have a number for it. That's good. <laughs> um, you know, once we know the sales tax, the actual receipts for 23, we may come back and ask you at least to, to consider again in 24 and amend the budget if we have to, to to maybe get the ball rolling. But we can wait to see what those numbers are. Yeah, and I think the three-year timeline, you know, that, that you talk about, we start to finish, I think we're safe um, making a decision maybe next year, late next year. Um, what I would like to see, though, and, and you talked about costs are going up on everything, and that means that costs are going up on you know, new sewer may have been a deal or, or new roads. Costs are going up on everything. So I don't, I don't know that that's an argument for moving forward with a project like this. But I think what I would like to see is kind of a timeline and, and a more defined priority list of what's really, what needs to happen in order for Brandon to not only to sustain, but to continue in the areas where we know it's growing at this point in time um, and, and be able to, I mean, the, the new school, there, there are needs that are going to have to go in by the new school, right? Um, on the west side where there's additional development, residential and commercial to better define that and to say in what order they need to they need to be done in and then we can plug this project into that as well and I'm gonna just come back and say we're talking about two different things we're talking about uh, the design of the building 
and uh, and then later on we're going to be talking about the building. That's where those sales tax numbers are going to come in. Uh, I think positively. Um, we're just talking right now. We're talking about three hundred forty-five thousand dollars, and that moves us six months ahead. From start to finish, it's still going to take us uh, two to three years that you keep on talking about. And I'm just talking about this particular thing. The building is another issue uh, when we break ground, when we start building it. But you get the design, you get, you get it ready to go so that when we pull the trigger on, on this, that we can move ahead. And again, we're starting a little bit further down the field. Thank you. Okay. A uh, let me get this straight. A yes vote means that we will not move forward with a city hall design proposal. A no vote means that we will move forward. Well, no, it just means that that motion fails, and then you need another motion at at some point. We could do that at the next meeting or. Okay, everybody understand that? Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Thomas Roll call. No. Fish? Aye. Johnson? Nay. Jorgensen? Aye. Hall? Nay. Lawrence? Aye. Keeney? Aye. And so motion carries. Standing committee reports. Golf course. We have a seasonal staff to hire, page 42. I'll look for a motion. Second. Motion and second to approve uh, the seasonal staff for the golf course. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Parks and Rec report. <laughs> um, reports on page 43. I don't think there's anything there that we need to... Uh, Discuss. Some of them haven't already. All right. Uh, public safety. The reports on page 44, 317 calls year to date. That is fantastic by a bunch of volunteers. And believe me, we can't thank those people enough. Um, yeah, they've, I've, was surprised to see there's that many calls so far this year. Well, that's, that's yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, anyway, our thanks go out to those volunteers. Administration, we've got uh, resolution 2023, setting street maintenance fees, page 45 to 46. We'll need a motion on that. It sets the street maintenance fee at the same as it's been the last couple of years at two dollars and fifty cents a linear foot. Yes, sir. Second. Motion and second to approve. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That motion carries. Property tax abatement request, page 47 to 49. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second to approve. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, the Ed Paul Zine Fund has a wild game feed raffle. Unless somebody has a problem with that, we don't need a motion. Uh, just good airtime on uh, television with, with you yeah, uh, the other right, nightmare. Right. <laughs> right. I just happened to be there. Um, streets, work project on page 51. They've been busy, as they always are. Rushmore project pay application. Um, We'll need a motion on that, page 52 to 57. Second. Motion and second to approve the Rushmore Project pay app. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same time. Motion carries. Brandon Transmit, Transit, um, the management agreement, page 58 to 59. We'll need a motion on that. Move to approve. Second. Motion and second to approve the uh, management agreement. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. The motion carries. Uh, South Dakota DOT transit agreement. 
from page 70 to 89. That was a long one. Yeah, it, it's a normal DOT agreement. Um, just, just a reminder that we asked for 124,000 DOT saw in its implementation to fund 100,000, 165. So we're about 24,000 short. Um, historically, we made that up either either through we haven't increased fees for a long time so we usually take that out of the general fund or uh, rocks is looking at considering advertising on the budget to generate a little bit extra okay we'll need a motion so moved. Second. motion a second to approve the transit agreement any further discussion hearing none all in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed same sign Motion carries. Uh, the water and sewer department, we've got the Dakota mainstream timeline. If this works out, we'll get some more water by 2058. That's Assuming we're in the initial project construction phase. Yes. That gives the information uh, which. They've got a grant application, uh, funding application going into the state for their October 1st deadline. And that will, I think they're applying for about 1.2 million as seed money to, to get the project rolling with some planning and engineering, et cetera. And then we've got the uh, water treatment uh, plant pay application. Uh, so we'll need a motion on that. Move to approve. Motion to second. approve and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. How are they coming as a progress, Tammy? Good? Yeah. yeah, they have most of the underground stuff done. Um, they are working through most of the shop drawings. A lot of that has been completed. So now it's just kind of putting everything together. We should have walls here pretty soon. They're precast. So hopefully they're bringing them to site here in the next couple months. Okay. We don't have any new business. We do not need an executive session that right. I know of. And so I'll look for a motion to adjourn. Just a couple of things. I added yep. the, the notice for the tree branch drop off uh, Saturday, October 21st from 9 to 3 at the old pond site, not at the fire, not at the fire hall. And then we'll start tree trimming uh, on or about October 10th, and that's the, where we go out and trim the boulevard trees. And then we'll also be cutting down ash trees in the boulevard as well. When do we start cutting down trees on 3rd Street? Next year. Yeah, next spring. Once we have a contractor on board. Okay. I'll look for a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion second to adjourn. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries, we're adjourned.